Hey everybody, my name is Jenny, and I have a real problem. The thing is, my cup size is an E, and I'm only 15. When I was a little girl, I would look at my mom who had a gorgeous chest and want the same. I secretly took my mom's bras, stuffed them with socks, and paraded around the apartment. All my family laughed. I guess all girls do that. Mom said she was like that too. She just explained I would get what I wanted, but later. From the little anatomy I knew, my desired breasts were supposed to start coming in at 12 or 13, but they would be small, like pimples. So I kept adding weird things to my looks and using my mom's makeup to make me look older. I thought if I looked like an adult, I would somehow speed up their growth. Of course, in reality, I looked like a monkey with war paint. My mom would catch me and wash it off so I wouldn't embarrass her. And so here I am at 12, with balloons and gifts and thinking that I'm already a grown-up. My birthday is in the summer, so I celebrated it at the seaside with my family and my newfound friends. My long-awaited chest hadn't appeared, but by this time, I had already put up with the fact I was still growing. I had bad acne, so I had more serious problems to deal with. When school started, I was stunned. Half of my girl classmates were already showing each other their little bras. They already had something that looked like breasts. There were only a few who still looked like preschoolers and me. I was almost in tears because other girls measured their chests. They gradually excluded me from their games and conversations. I was slowly moving to the outsiders and losers. I complained to my mom, cried at night, and ate a lot of cabbage for my breasts to grow. I even made a New Year's wish. One day, I saw a woman who had the same little breasts as mine at her age. I froze in horror. I started to practice sports, hoping to pump them up. I pumped up my legs, my butt, and made my tummy flat. I even earned a couple of trophies in gymnastics, but I still couldn't get what I wanted. When I was 14, I lost hope. When I say it now, it seems ridiculous. But at the time, it was a real tragedy for me. I refused to celebrate my 14th birthday. But one night later, I woke up, feeling a terrible pain in my chest. I ran to my mom. She laughed and said I was getting what I wanted for so long. So by the fall, I had breasts. No, not like this. Breasts. A good B cup. I proudly carried my wealth at school and quickly became a girl's leader again. Not to mention, guys started staring at me during PE classes. I was completely satisfied with my life and my looks. But maybe it was the cabbage. Maybe I was too active. But obviously, someone up there was making fun of me. My breasts didn't stop growing after a B cup. By my 15th birthday, I was a size D. I had terrible pains in my back. I cried all night long, praying my breasts would stop growing. Now I had the opposite desire, to reduce the wealth given by nature, at least a little. I had to quit gymnastics. Gymnasts should be nimble and thin. They should be able to hang on the bar without the risk of breaking their neck because of their huge breasts. It really hurt, because I was about to pass the trials for the Olympic team. I had very good results. I was sincerely proud of them. I switched to a more relaxed sport, like yoga, but I wasn't searching for enlightenment. I simply practiced it for the back support. I often felt a terrible pain in my spine. I could handle it with shaping underwear, regular exercises, and massage. The doctors said my spine was overloaded. They didn't offer any particular solution. In addition, but it wasn't that important, I could no longer wear any fancy clothes. Not because they suddenly disappeared from stores, but because of my size. I just couldn't fit into anything fancy and trendy. I had to forget about blouses and dresses. I could only choose something knitted and stretched. I had to order half of my clothes from tailors. At least my parents had enough money. The second half of my wardrobe looked more like a grandma's. Now when I remember my beautiful underwear, I tear up. Laces, buttons, and stylish outfits. No, sir. They just don't fit. Well, yeah, it's possible to find something, but only in size F. My E will just drown in it. The only things I could get were shaping underwear or grandma bras. I just cried when I put them on. There were also a lot of dirty hints from perverts. I stopped paying attention to them. There were too many. Plus, envy. I tried to explain to other girls that it's uncomfortable and painful to live like this. You can only sleep on your side, or in the sphinx pose, or on your elbows. But they don't believe me, and dream of having the same. Fools. It only helps when I show them my wardrobe, and not even that much. Anyway, girls, you don't need to dream of big breasts and growing up too fast. 
from my experience, it's better to have a beautiful bee cup than pains in your back and a lot of problems. Write in the comments if you agree, share this video with those whose breasts haven't grown yet, and stop dreaming of larger sizes.